Hi, I'm Crystal Stump, founder and CEO of ABC Consulting and former Virginia ABC Special Agent from the Alcoholic Beverage Control Authority. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today we're going to talk about the order that you should do your registrations in before getting that ABC license. Pour yourself a drink, you're going to need it. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified of all my new videos. I'm a former agent from the ABC Authority and I'm here to create videos for you to educate you about ABC rules and regulations and hopefully save you some money and also get you educated and keep you educated with all of the changes with the ABC rules and regulations. If you need help with licensing, compliance or training, reach out to us. We're here to help you navigate these waters. I know sometimes it can be a challenge. Sometimes the information is hard to find. So if you find this informative, please comment below, like, give me a thumbs up, let me know where you're from. I'd love to hear from you. So today I'm going to talk about the order in which you should do your registrations. And a lot of times people make mistakes on this and you need to do your registrations in a certain order in order for your ABC application to go smoothly. The first thing that you want to do, it's, it's kind of like starting a, you know, a brand new business. What should you do first? So this information is going to be good for that too. But you want to first determine the name that you want to use. So there's two names you need to determine, your legal entity name and also your trade name. So the legal entity name is the name that will be in front of your LLC or corporation. Okay, so it's your corporate name, your legal entity name. And your trade name is the name that you're going to be doing business as or trading as or what the public is going to know you as it's the name that goes on your sign your menu your social media that is your trade name so you need to know the difference all of your registrations and applications are going to be in that legal entity name and that's so important that you understand that you don't get it wrong don't put it in the human name your personal name don't put those applications in your trade name they have to be in that legal entity name which brings me to my next point. Don't pick a complicated legal entity name. So many people want to do these initials or abbreviations. Um, they want to spell things oddly. That doesn't really make sense. And I understand they want it to be unique, but unique is not always great when it's a name that you have to remember all the time and it has to be perfect for registrations. Because if you get one letter backwards or leave off a letter or you misspell something in your own entity name when you're applying for a um, different permit, it is a different entity and your permit could be denied because of that. And ABC can deny you, um, of, uh, deny you your ABC application or deny you your license if these ma um, entity names do not match all of your registrations. So you want to make sure that you pick a legal entity name that's easy to remember and easy to spell. And once you figure that out, pick that trade name, make sure it's available. Go to uh, godaddy.com, see if the domain's available before you do any registrations to make sure that that name's not already taken. And also check with the United States uh, Patent and Trademark Office to, to make sure that name is not registered there. That's very important. So once you decide on that, that is when you will then register with the Secretary of the State. And in Virginia, it's the Virginia State Corporation Commission. So you're gonna go there and register your legal entity and your trade name at the S Virginia SCC. If you need help with that registration, we do that for our clients. We do the SEC, EIN, sales and use tax, any registrations that you need, we're available to help you with. So once you do your SCC registration, the next one that you're gonna do is your employer identification number with the IRS. That you can also do online or we can help you with it. But you wanna make sure that again, you have the exact spelling of the name that you registered with the SCC and also the correct address so that they match your operating address. It can be a business address, not the physical location address for those two registrations. Then once you get those two registrations done and you have an executed lease and a location that you know you're gonna be operating in, then you can apply for your ABC license. And then right before you're operating, you will want to apply for your Virginia sales and use tax. And again, you wanna make sure that you apply under the legal entity name you also have the trade name, but that address must be your physical location. 
and your ABC application must be the physical location and where you're going to be doing business. So there's a lot to think about with these registrations. Which one you do first, what name you put where, what address you put on which registration form. We know how to do it, we do it all the time, and we know that mistakes cost you a lot of time and time is money in this industry. No one has time to be on the phone with the IRS for 45 minutes or even two hours to try to get a name changed or a misspelling corrected. No one has time for that and it has to be done right. So if you don't have the attention to detail, then you need to hire someone who does and we do. We make sure that it's done properly and that results in a quick approval. So now you know which order you should do your registrations in and if you need help, we're here to help you. If you found this video informative, please like it comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.